Okay, guys. Well, welcome back to our second session with our art marketing expert from Texas in America, Mr. Eric Rhodes. Eric, we're going to be discussing why people buy. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, I think buying is purely an emotional decision. Um, most people think that decisions are made with logic, uh, you know, but why do people buy expensive cars when there's no logic behind it? If, if transportation was your goal, then you'd buy an inexpensive Kia for a small amount of money, yet somebody will pay two, three, four hundred thousand dollars for a, a Bentley or a Maserati at a million dollar or, or a, a Ferrari at a million dollars. Why do they do that? Well, that's all ego and that's ego is emotion. And so paintings are the same way. And I want to tell you a quick story. Um, there was a fellow that was at one of my art marketing boot camp sessions at the plein air convention. And he came up to me afterwards and he said, listen, this woman, I, I had my art on display at a tent show. And this woman walked up to me and she said, how much is that painting? And he said, well, it's $4,000. And she said, okay, I'll take it. So she gets out her checkbook and she writes a check out. She hands him the check and it says 40, $40,000. And he said, ma'am, it's not $40,000, it's 4,000, you made a mistake. She says, oh, it must not be any good then, is it? So she ripped up the check and she walked away. Right. See, sometimes pricing uh, will help you and we as artists are oftentimes lacking courage. I often tell a story, I won't use the name, but there's a, uh, an artist who's very famous now, and uh, he told me this in confidence, and so I don't want to use his name on this, but he had a, uh, was starting out, he had a painting, it was a really good painting, he put it in the gallery, he put it in for $1,000, didn't sell. Six months later, he took it out, he put it in another gallery, and he doubled the price to 2,000, didn't sell, took it out another time, and, and finally he said, screw this, and so he, he put a, a $40,000 price on it and sold the first week. Uh, Sometimes you have to have courage to go out there. Yeah, definitely, that's that's amazing. I, I also uh, remember a story where uh, a gentleman had come in and do this exactly the same thing to buy a $40,000 painting. And he actually turned the painting over. He said, I want to see, so he actually cut the back to see if it was actually linen, Belgian linen or not. And it was actually on normal canvas. And he said, I don't want it, it's not, it's not on Belgian linen. Wow. If it, if it wasn't that, you know, he, he wasn't going to spend that amount of money if it wasn't the proper thing. Well, that's interesting. I've never heard a story like that, but I can see that some people, especially if they know what they're they're doing, would think that, you know, and, and um, you know, I'm going to have to rethink the way I do this now. I may have to use more expensive canvas. Yeah, because people, I mean, a, a good investor will, will turn the painting around and have a look at the back of the picture. Yeah, you know, the back of your painting, by the way, is a really great tool for selling future paintings. And the way it appears will send a signal to the collector. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you've got a bunch of scribbles with a Sharpie on it versus having things nicely typed out, have your story on there and, and, and so on. But I always like to put something on the back of my paintings that actually says to the buyer, because sometimes you don't know the buyer and sometimes the gallery won't tell you, it says, to the buyer of this painting, please know that I have a special gift for you. Please contact me at this email address. And they email you, you say, I have note cards uh, of the painting that I wanna send you and I'm gonna put your name on them as the, you know, the John Jones collection. And you send them the note cards. Now you've established a relationship with them. You've, you've developed a, a, a law of reciprocity, which is you're giving them something they're gonna now be a little bit more apt to buy something you, for you in the future. Yeah. I, I'm not suggesting you go around your galleries. I don't want that at all. I, If somebody buys direct from me, I send the money to the gallery anyway. All right, well, thank you, Eric. That was amazing. The information that you, you gave was just incredible, but we also um, have a fantastic opportunity to go in and view a webinar that you've put together that explains a lot more detail of what's going on and uh, we'll be doing this over a period of time as well. So. My suggestion is uh, the link at the bottom there where you can see the webinar. Go in, go and listen to Eric uh, speak about art marketing once again and get all of that fantastic information and uh, it'll definitely change your life, I can guarantee you that much.